Hey YouTube, how we doing? Well, you know what? It's about time we step back and do a book review again. So I figured I would bring one to the channel that everyone is talking about. So stay tuned after we roll that intro, and we're going to get into this guy. You ain't going to want to miss this. Okay, guys, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Like I said, we're going to take a look at Fire and Fury Inside the Trump White House by what I consider an absolute asshat, Michael Wolff. Now, everybody and everyone and their mother was talking about this book. How just over the top it is and how this can't be happening inside the White House. And oh my God, you know, they're finally revealing the truth and, you know, they're blowing the Russian collusion angle way open. Oh my God. So I read this book and I like the premise that Michael applied for and was granted basically to be able to sit around with the Trump organization for like a year, you know, on the campaign trail, into the White House, all that wonderful stuff. I figured that would be an incredible read because, as some of you may remember, I brought Hillary's book to the channel and I thought that it would give some insight into the campaign and, you know, her thoughts or whatever, and it didn't. This book is so full of what the fuck did I just read? I, I can't put it anywhere else other than that. You know, f it essentially reads to me like... Trump's a moron, Steve Bannon was pulling all of the strings, and nobody could touch Steve Bannon. There's just so many parts in here that you just sit and you read and you go, like, what in the... You know, like, him insinuating Nikki Haley only got her job because, well, she screwed POTUS. You know, the fact that Ivanka and Jared Kushner don't have a brain between them... And they're morons. The fact, and you know, part of, I kind of believe this, just from all the reports and all the badgering and all everything else that news agencies are doing, the White House was at war with itself. And I don't know if most of you are on Twitter, but go follow all these rogue accounts. All right. Just follow them and you'll see just some of what I'm talking about. I mean, my. God, how once the Russian angle broke that, you know, Steve Bannon was trying to protect the president, but the president wasn't listening and, you know, attorneys wouldn't work with the president, refused to even take any phone calls, any of this crap. And the fact that Steve Bannon's going, well, you know, they're going to fall apart because they don't have me and they're stupid. This book is just... The worst part about this book is if you believe anything, one part in it, you have to believe it all because you just can't kind of cherry pick it. I think it's incredibly inflammatory to a whole hell of a lot of people. I'm not really a big fan of Meghan McCain, and I watched her light him up on The View. No, I didn't watch The View. I caught, you know, everything on Facebook about it. I hate the fact that his response basically was, well, it's the number one best-selling book in America, so everyone must believe me. When British TV was trying to interview this asshat, they could hear him, but he claimed not to be able to hear them, and the part that kills me, when he took his little earpiece out and he's walking away, you could hear the earpiece functioning properly. You know, so he can't stand up to people who are questioning him, but he will gush all over when he's going, oh my God, it's the best book I've ever read. It's this, it's that. Guys, I got to tell you my opinion. This book was just, it, it's full of just, you know, old military speak, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. It makes you go, oh my God, what in the hell's next? <clears throat> but, you know, um, I have a hard time believing, according to this book, Trump ran just to start his own TV network. And then when election night was going on, he was so arrogant that he couldn't write an exception, you know, acceptance speech or 
thanks, you know, I tried speech. And when they won, he basically said, oh, fuck, what do I do now? Right. But anyway, guys, those, those are my thoughts. If you've read it, let me know what you're thinking, you know, down below, please, because I'd love to know. You know, I mean, hell, even if you haven't read it and you think this thing's incredible, leave me your comments. I'd like to know. Because I seriously think this book is full of just, holy, what in the God bless it. You know. But hey, that, those are my thoughts. If you're a first time viewer to the channel, you should be seeing a symbol popping up either in, you know, that corner or that corner. That's going to be my company logo. Go ahead and click on that. That's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you click on subscribe, please click on the bell icon. That's going to alert you of every time we upload a brand new video. And speaking of videos, I never know which side I want to put them on. So somewhere up the sides, you're going to see two videos popping up. Those are going to be videos that YouTube selects from my catalog. And I think it's going to be a good viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. Like I said, Fire and Fury, Inside the Trump White House. My thoughts on it. Let me know what you think.